Priscilla from Priscilla's Paper Crafts. Someone asked me about making a cute card with pop-up presents inside. So I thought I'd make a video to show you how to do it. Are you ready? Let's go see. So here's the card I'm talking about. Cute little Merry Christmas card. But when you open it, pop-up presents. Look how fun that is. Would you like to try one? Let's get started. To make this card, you're going to need a few supplies. First of all, you need a piece of cardstock that is cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored down the middle at four and a quarter. You're going to need a piece for the inside that is five inches by eight inches and again scored in the middle now this time at four inches. And then you're going to need a few little pieces of designer paper. One of them will be one inch by three inches, one inch by two and a half inches, and one inch by two inches. So let's start with the inside. And you need a paper trimmer. So you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to go ahead and, and fold this in the center. And I like to use a bone folder so we've got a nice crease. Now, placing your, your folded edge inside your paper trimmer, and you start at one inch. The folded edge is up at the top. You're going to start at one inch, and you're going to cut to one and a half inches with your paper trimmer. Now we're going to move the paper to the two inch mark. And again, we're going to cut to one and a half inches. Now we'll move it to the three inch mark. And this is gonna be a different one. This time we're going to cut it to one and a quarter inches. And finally, we're going to move it to four inches. And now we're going to cut it just to one inch. Okay. So this is what your cardstock is going to look like when you're done. It's going to open this way. And here it is. But now we have to go ahead and make some score lines on here. So if we start at the one inch mark, I'm gonna get my cutting blade out of the way, and I wanna go from one inch to two inches. Now I'm gonna move over to the two inch mark, and this time, oops, wait a minute, sorry. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be one and, a, one and a half, right? Yeah, uh, one and a quarter. Here we are. One and a quarter. And we're going to go from the two inch to the three inch. Then we're going to go to one and a half. That's how long this is. And we're going to go from the three inch to the four inch. Now, if I could have seen this a little bit better, you'd see I would have stopped right at those lines, but it's going to be okay. The score line is in each place. So now you can kind of see, I'm going to get rid of my paper trimmer. And you can kind of see where we're going with this. I'm going to go ahead and fold this back this way. And these are going to pop out and you're going to just score or fold along these score lines. That you created. And this is probably the only tricky part of this. This is where I like my bone folder. And then the next one, you can kind of see how this is coming together now. And over here, and then the last one. Oops, pop that out. 
that way. And score there. Fold here. There you go. So once you have this and you give it a good crease on all those fold lines, now you can see how this is working. So next thing we're going to do real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and, and stamp my greeting on the inside before I do anything else. And for this, I am using a brand new set called Sweet Citrus, one of my favorites from the new upcoming mini catalog starting in January. And this one comes with a the Sweet Citrus dies and a hybrid embossing folder. And I'm going to show you how I finish this in just a minute using these. But this cute little set here says, have a zesty birthday. Oops, and I'm going to do this in fresh freesia. Right there. Move that out of the way. And now we're gonna take those little pieces of designer paper and add these. Now I scored each one of these in the middle to try and line up a little bit with the score line down here just to make it a little easier as we fold them. But these are gonna fit right on here. And I'm gonna take my liquid glue. And one thing I do wanna do is to make sure I get some right in the center of this because this is gonna be moving so I want to make sure that it's right there. And the reason I like the liquid glue is because I can wiggle it around a tiny bit if I need to. So then I'm going to take my one by two and a half inch piece. Again, put some good glue on there. This one's going to go right here. Like so. And finally, my one by three inch piece. I'm also using some new paper that's in the upcoming mini catalog. This is a host paper. And I have the name for you, but I can't remember it right now. I have to go look at it and see what it is. But I just love the colors. Okay. So there we are. Now when you fold this, they should all pop down. And again, we're going to give them a good squeeze. To make sure they're all on there good. Okay, so one of them's a little too long. But that's the way this is gonna work. Now, for the inside, here's the only other slightly tricky part of this. I'm going to fold my card. And then this is going to come in. You're gonna butt this right up next to the center fold, like so. and add your glue and you want to have enough on there. And then we're going to just close and make sure it's even lined up well. And then we're just going to close our card. I'm going to give that just a second to make sure that glue is set. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And again, we close our card.
And there's our birthday card. I'm going to trim that off so it'll be okay later. Okay, back to finish this card. Here we are here. And what I want to do is I have some little candles from the Sentiment Silhouette dies that I created. And I'm going to use some mini glue dots to adhere them inside my cake. <clears throat> So I'm going to start with some, there we go. To do this, you want to make sure that your glue dot is completely on the front of the candle so that it sticks to the inside of the cake without having any hangover, what's going to prevent your card from opening right. Oops, get off of there. How fun is that? And for the front of my card, I use the Sweet Citrus stamps. Look at the embossing on that. I just love it. And I also emboss the, the Fresh Freesia. And I'm just going to um, put this on with some dimensionals. And there's my card, ready for a birthday. So these are great cards to make, whether you want to do it for Christmas or for birthdays. And I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for joining me. Come see me at Priscilla's Paper Crafts.